Well, the Dallas Mavericks just played the Los Angeles Lakers, and while the Lakers won the game handily, Luka Doncic was clearly the best player on the floor. Now, I know what you're thinking. Not only did the Mavericks lose the game, this is while Luka registered a minus 15. But who cares? Certainly not fans and proponents of LeBron James. Did you get a look at that box score? Doncic dropped a clean 33 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists. This is just more of the same for Luka, who has been stuffing the stat sheet all season long to the tune of 33.6 points, which is second best in the league currently, 9.2 assists, which is third league wide, and 8.3 rebounds. See, the fundamental problem with the logic of the pathetic and embarrassing LeBron stand base is that it eschews all reasoning and common sense by disregarding things like context, era-specific rules changes, including pacing and spacing differential, and most importantly, winning. They don't care about these things, and they never did. That's how they have been operating for years, presenting LeBron as their undisputed GOAT, despite his obvious and clear failures throughout his pitiful playoff performances. Who cares that LeBron is 22 and 33 in the finals? Who cares that he has lost six of his 10 finals appearances? Who cares that LeBron has posted a minus 86 in his his career in the NBA Finals. What? Yes, Bronze teams have been outscored while he is on the floor for his career in 55 Finals appearances. But did you see those stats? He's the GOAT. <laughs> Not only does his ignorant fan base utilize this ludicrous reasoning, the insufferable, overgrown, petulant baby himself really believes this too, and he isn't afraid to tell you all about it. That one so, right there made me the greatest player of all time. But the fundamental issue with this logic is you have cheapened and marginalized the conversation. You have set the bar very low. And amid the soaring pace of play and changing dynamics within this increasingly easy and watered down era that Braun himself has been getting fat on for years, it wasn't going to be very long until someone chased down the stat king. And so now someone has. Hard to believe that Luka Doncic is halfway through his sixth NBA season and still just at the age of 24. And LeBron, conveniently enough, was the same exact age at this stage of his career. And taking a look at Luka's first five and a half NBA seasons, his career line is sitting at 28.2 points per game, eight and a half rebounds, and 8.1 assists. LeBron, at the same exact stage of his career, had a line of 27 and a half points, seven rebounds, and 6.7 assists. Luka averages more points, rebounds, and assists than and LeBron age for age. But let's not just factor in LeBron's first five years, let's look at his best five years. Prime Braun has to be considered to be the five years beginning with the 2008-2009 season and running through the 2012-2013 season. In this five-year span, Braun perpetrated some of the most egregious playoff choke jobs of his entire career, gagging to the Orlando Magic in 2008-2009 as the number one seed in the NBA playoffs, and he chased that one by collapsing the following season in the second round against the Celtics as, yet again, the number one seed. In games four, five, and six, James scored just 21 points per game on 34% shooting from the field while posting a negative 37, and the Cavaliers went from a 2-1 lead in the series to not winning a single game the rest of the way. LeBron, of course, would admit to himself and the world that he couldn't win an actual legitimate title, despite Kobe beating both of those teams in the finals after they eliminated LeBron. James, of course, would take his talents to South Beach and amass an unbeatable super team. 
which of course got beat that very year. In what amounts to the most stunning choke job in NBA history, where LeBron got outplayed by a 6'2 bench player and shut down by JJ Barea in the clutch. Despite these obscene failures that should have invalidated him from ever being a part of any legitimate GOAT debates for the rest of time, LeBron actually was awarded all four of his career league MVPs in this five-year span because stats. Winning back-to-back -back MVPs in 2009 and 2010, and back-to-back -back in 2012 and 2013. In this five-year span, Braun posted averages of 27.8 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 7.3 assists. Still lower across the board than Luka in his first five years. Okay, okay, but many Braun hyping idiots would have you believe that 2017-18 Braun was the greatest player in NBA history, and that while he was losing three of his four finals head-to-head -head against Steph Curry, that it was LeBron who was actually the best player in the game at that time. So let's look at his aged 29 to 33 seasons, beginning in the 2013-2014 season and running through the 2017-2018 league year. In this five-year span, LeBron posted averages of 26.3 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 7.7 .7 assists. Still, less than Luka in every category. So Luka Doncic in just his first five seasons clears prime LeBron easily. Oh, and one final point on the aforementioned 2017-2018 version of LeBron that many of his disgraceful jock sniffers would have you believe was the greatest season ever. In this year, LeBron averaged 27.5 points per game, 9.1 assists, and 8.6 rebounds. Again, these are Luka's numbers this season. Oh, but these inept morons are talking about Braun's postseason run in 2017-18. But, but, I thought the playoffs didn't actually count. Isn't their entire case for him built upon the premise that it doesn't matter what happens in the playoffs? Must be because, in fact, he got swept in the finals that season. <laughs> and I mean, if you want to talk playoffs... Don't talk about playoffs! LeBron's playoff career average of 28.5 points, 9 rebounds, and 7.2 assists are still trumped easily by Luka's career playoff averages of 32.5 points per game, 9.3 rebounds, and 7.9 assists. Again, easily clears. Oh, but right now you want to talk about era-specific differences, competition, and things like championships. Nah, see, that's the problem. You can't have it both ways. So I suggest if you didn't like this video, know your role and shut your mouth, and stop regurgitating stat lines when conversations arise with players who were obviously superior to LeBron James in every way. A box score has never and will never be able to tell the whole story. There are things in this game that cannot be quantified or measured, and those are the things LeBron has always been lacking for his entire career, and they will always be the things that limit his true legacy.